welcome to another revelation with the Feed My Sheep Foundation uh, Bible Study video channel. Today we are doing another revelation, <clears throat> excuse me, from the uh, Captain's Voice series. And it's going to be entitled Substance. Uh, substance and uh, defining substance in this particular revelation would be uh, referring to the presence, okay? The presence and essence of a thing, because their presence is their substance, okay? And so, uh, <clears throat> we're going to start with where the Holy Spirit led me into Isaiah chapter 6. And uh, Isaiah is having a vision, and it's an open vision because it doesn't say that he's sleep or he was upon his bed or it doesn't it doesn't give us uh, the knowledge that he's laying down or he's sleeping when he's having this vision but it is a vision because he's seeing into the heavens okay and so therefore every time someone sees into the heavens they're having a vision or heaven speaks to you that's a vision you know either way if it's coming from he heaven it is a and you see it with your spiritual eye because that's what's going on here with Isaiah his eyes are open but he's seeing into heaven with his spiritual eye and as he is doing that uh, he is able to see certain things going on and taking place in the heavens and uh, dream, uh, being transpired so he begins to go on and say that uh, and this is, starts with in the year that King uh, Uzziah he died. And he says, Isaiah says, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Okay, so this is in the year that there was a king called Uzziah. He was king and reigned and ruled over Israel for a certain period of time. So this vision that he had, the vision that it, it occurred during that year that he passed away. And he's saying that he saw uh, the Lord sitting upon a throne. Okay, so if he saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, he saw the Lord in heaven. Because the Holy Spirit and the Lord tells us in, uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord tells us in Isaiah 66 and verse 1, that the throne, let's go over here to it, 66, Isaiah 6, same book, chapter 1 he says uh, <clears throat> the heaven is my throne okay and the earth is my footstool so if he's seeing him in, his, in the throne then he's seeing him in heaven okay so he's seeing he has he's having a vision of him seeing him in, in heaven or seeing into heaven and then he says his train filled the temple okay so his train filled the temple and uh a train is something that a bride wears whenever a bride is getting married. She has a train on her dress. So he's seeing that train in the temple. Okay? He's seeing that. So then he goes on to tell us in verse 2, Above it stood the seraphims. Okay? So now he's seeing angels also. Each one has six wings. Okay? And then... Uh, then with two, he covered his feet. With two, he did fly. Okay. So therefore, right here, he's seeing he's seeing into heaven. He's seeing the Lord high and lifted up. He said, and his train filled the temple. Okay, because God, you know, the, the train representative of again the bride. Okay, the bride and the train that's on the dress of the bride. And he sees that he, so uh, Isaiah is seeing that in this vision. And above it stood seraphims. Each one had six wings. Okay, so now he's seeing angels. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Okay, so this is what these angels are saying in the heavens that he's seeing this vision. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, Holy, holy, holy. And the house was filled with smoke. Okay? So he's seeing the temple in the, in the uh, heavens. And he's seeing the angels 
praising God holy, 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 because they say that continually. And we're told that in the book of Revelation 4, Revelation chapter 4, and we go over there to that in verse 8, it tells us that, Revelation chapter 4, verse 8, that uh, the four beasts had each of them six wings, and they were full of eyes on the inside, and they rest not, they don't rest at all, but they say, holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come, okay? So they continually say, day and night, because they do not rest, holy, 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 hallelujah. And so uh, Isaiah is seeing this in the heavens. And then he said to himself, woe is me, for I am undone. He says, I'm just, I'm just destroyed by all this, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips for my eyes have seen the king of the lord of hosts okay then one of the angels came unto him okay having a live coil in his hand which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar because again he's seeing the temple he's seeing all of that because he's in heaven he's seeing uh he has a vision of heaven so he's seeing the whole setup of heaven in this vision and so he sees an angel go over to the altar in the temple and take off of the altar okay he says he took having a live coil in his hand okay which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar okay so he took oh my god with the uh, tongues my Jesus off the um, and he took the fire off the altar okay and he said he said he's uh, laid it upon my mouth now he took the tongues and he laid the coals of fire upon the mouth of Isaiah and he said this uh, has touched thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thy sin is purged with that fire from off the altar you know and that's why we talk about the Holy Spirit is a purger of sin is a purger of our iniquities uh, once we've been born again into the uh, Holy Spirit into the heavens with the conversion of the Holy Spirit, our sins are purged, are covered, okay? They're atoned for because we've accepted Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, okay? However, now, going back into darkness brings about a whole nother a thing and controversy with God because the garment you be you know you have the Holy Spirit you're born again of the Holy Spirit you have that garment of Holy Spirit and if it gets defiled if it, if it becomes tainted if it becomes uh, spotted you know as God has stated because of the flesh then uh, there's a there's a division within an individual and then uh, there's a need for repentance there's a need for confession to the Heavenly Father again regarding whatever it may be that needs to be purged okay so going on it says verse 8 also I heard the voice of the Lord saying whom shall I send and who will go for us then I said here I am send me so this is what Isaiah says send me so he says and I said go and tell this people this is what God said this is what the angel said heaven wanted him to do go and tell this people here you hear ye indeed but you understand not you see indeed but you perceive not so make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and, 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 and shut their eyes unless they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart what the Heavenly Father is saying regarding salvation and then be converted and then they'll be healed in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Because he says, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be washed without habitant, inhabited. And the house is without man, and the land be utterly dis desolate. So he's saying, how long do you want me to go and tell this people, you know, and regarding salvation and um, re regarding the conversion into the kingdom of God? And this is the answer that God gives Isaiah in, in the vision. He says, uh, when Isaiah asked him, he says, then said I, Lord, how long? And he said, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate 
and the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. Okay, so that is how long he is telling him to go forward and do this. Now, keeping in mind, this is a we have a reflection from the old from the uh, Old Testament. When reading the story of the Spirit of the Lord, because that's who Isaiah is, and is revealing something to us regarding heaven and salvation. Okay, so. Going on, he says in verse 12, And the Lord have removed men, and the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. So he's to go forward, and he is to tell, basically talk about salvation and the iniquity of mankind, because he's had that experience right here. As he has said, he at that particular point in time, he was going through uncleanness. But the angel took fire from off the holy altar in the church, hallelujah, in the temple, in the temple, okay, and placed it upon Isaiah's lips and purged him from his unclean lips, okay? And so it goes on to tell us here, verse 13, that he says, but yet in it shall be a tenth, Okay? So there's going to be a tenth, a tenth percent, and it shall return and shall be eaten. Okay, this tenth percent is going to be eaten as a toll, as a tail tree, and as a oak tree, whose substance is in them. Okay, so they have the power of the Holy Spirit. They have the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, so when they cast their leaves, whenever they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof okay let me read that again verse 13 says that because as we go into the last two verses we see that first of all Isaiah has been commissioned by heaven to go and talk about salvation to the people he says because the Lord says in verse 9 he said go and tell this people hear ye and you hear but you don't understand okay because they have not understood clearly what thus says the Lord. And the reason being, verse 10, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted and be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost and the acceptance of Christ Jesus coming into the kingdom and being converted into the kingdom of God okay because evidently these people at this particular time and this goes in uh, reference and in alignment with us today as it pertains to the kingdom of God and those coming into the kingdom of God he says here that there there's going to be a tenth like a tenth percent or a tenth of um, uh, a tenth percent of people that shall return and shall be eaten as a teal tree, okay? And as an oak whose substance is in them when they cast their leaves. And then he tells us that the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. So the holy seed is the seed in the earth, okay? That is the substance in the earth, the holy seed. Those that have been planted within the earth and that have the Holy Spirit is what the Holy Spirit is saying here. That have been converted into the kingdom of heaven through by the power of conversion. But those that will not hear. He goes back over into uh, verse 9. He says, They hear, but they understand not. They see, but they can't seem to perceive. And although it has already been prophesied that there's going to be a people that will not believe, that will not receive. And that's what he's saying basically in this next verse uh, because Jeremiah prophesied about it over in, uh, and if we can go there, Jeremiah, and uh, let's see here. And we can start at uh, verse 19 in Jeremiah chapter 5. 
He says, It shall come to pass, when you shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then shall thou answer them, Like as you have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land, so shall you serve strange God, uh, strangers in a land that is not yours. So declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in, the, in, you, in uh, Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have ears, I'm sorry, which have eyes, see not, have ears, and hear not. Fear ye not, says the Lord, will you not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the uh, bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it, and though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail, and though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. But this people has a revolting and a rebellious heart, for they are revolting and they are they have departed. Okay, so he says that they have a revolting and a rebellious heart. Okay, so this is what Isaiah is seeing with this vision that the heavens is showing him. He's seeing angels. He's seeing heaven and he's seeing angels in the heavens being uh, dispatched. In order to place the anointing upon people so that they can go forward bringing to bring salvation unto those that have been predestined to receive it okay and as they go forward now this is all that Isaiah has been be, is being shown as they are going forward there will be some in the midst that will not as the Holy Spirit is telling us here they will hear and they will not uh, be able to understand okay and they will see but they will not be able to perceive what salvation is all about what the Holy Bible is all about what God is all about okay and it will be because of as the Holy Spirit uh, tells us over here in Jeremiah because of their rebellious heart they don't have a heart to receive from God and that's already been prophesied in other chapters by other prophets and we're probably going to a uh, part two on this to actually go into the depths of it because as the Holy Spirit wants us to take notice of in this particular uh, reading is that the holy seed and the holy seed is those that have been converted into the kingdom those that have listened to the word of God presented by heaven regarding salvation those that have accepted Christ Jesus as their personal savior they have been converted in the kingdom and they have been healed healed of every and any disease and any disorder uh, whatever it may be that the enemy tries to come up uh, on the kingdom of God with the saints of God have the Holy Spirit they have the Holy Ghost they have the anointing and they have been equipped they have been healed, delivered, and set free from any and everything that the enemy tries to throw in their direction. Because they are, as the Holy Spirit decrees and declares right here, the Holy Seed that is the substance in the earth. Okay? So, that is going to bring us to the conclusion of this revelation regarding <clears throat> the Holy Seed being uh, the substance in the earth. Those that have been commissioned and those that have been uh, converted into the kingdom of God and able to actually bring forth or walk the earth with the glory of God and to manifest um, to the individual salvation through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So God bless you and I will look forward to studying with you again as we continue our revelations and Bible study on the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel.